hello there thank you for tuning into people soft channel in this episode i will show you how to add different styles colors for the rose we included in the previous episode and next until now we ran envision reports through two tier mode in this episode i will show you how to run envision reports through web interface i mean through pia without any further delay let's get started first let me open the envision report i created in the previous episode and run it in order to do that click on open layout i believe our layout name is demo_implosion open it now i will open our report request in order to do that navigate to add ins tab envision report request we are going to open the report request we created in the previous episode us001 and the report name is underscore n1 click on get list select your report request click okay now click on run button this is the envision report output we received in the previous episode let's make this report more appealing by adding colors and changing the styles in order to do that the very first step is we need to create that new style we want in microsoft excel now i will create that new style in microsoft excel let me close this output this is our layout to create new style navigate to home tab and select the option cell styles and you see a small drop down on the right hand side of the cell styles select that and click on new cell style you will see this pop up window let's name this style as demo style 1 we have a plenty of options here but for the sake of this demonstration i will just change the color and the style now let me click on format i will navigate to the font here by default it is black now i am changing into blue color and i will also change the font style to italic like i said before we have a plenty of options here we can add borders we can change the background color and we can even change the alignment and so on i kept it simple for this demonstration click okay click okay and save our layout and remember the style name now let me go ahead and apply the new style we created to our unploaded rows in order to do that navigate to add ins envision layout options navigate to unload options this is where you specify the style you created just now demo underscore since we have unploaded rows you can apply this style to the unploaded rows if you have unploaded columns you can specify the style in the columns section click okay let me save the layout now let me go ahead and run the report envision report request this is our report request click on run button awesome the styles we assigned were successfully applied to our envision output report mission accomplished i am sure you can do better styling than me now i will move on to next part of our agenda running our envision reports through web interface so far we have designed the envision reports in two tier mode which is the only way but we also ran the envision reports in two tier mode in real life scenario we will run envision reports through web tier that is through pia now i will show you how to run the envision reports that we have created so far through pia when you run the envision report of course we run the envision reports through report request this is our layout and i am clicking on the report request this is our report request when you click save this is already saved but that is the reason save is disabled but when you save the report request it gets inserted into the people soft database which means you have access to that report request even through web interface now let me go ahead and see if i can run the same report through web interface i am logging into people soft app in order to run envision report 
through web interface navigate to reporting tools envision define report request like i said before whenever you save the report request in the two tier mode it is automatically available for use through web tier as you can see here this is the same report request we created in two tier mode because it's in people's up database we can access it either through two tier mode or through web interface let's see if we can run this report before i run the report i forgot to tell you one thing always make sure you change the type to from file to web if you run through two tier you will see the output option as file let me open the report request here if you see here whenever you run the envision report request through two tier mode the output type should be file if you run the same envision report request through web interface it should be always web now let me go ahead and run the envision report i'll click okay now i will navigate to process monitor to check how it ran as you can see the envision report failed let's see the error message as you can see here our envision process failed because it couldn't find the layout file let's take a step back here if you remember episode 1 i showed you the location of the layouts we created let's revisit the same location in order to do that navigate to your tools folder pscfg now i am opening people soft configuration manager now i'll navigate to profile edit and vision tab this is where all our layouts are stored they are stored locally that is the reason when you run through web tier it couldn't find the layout it's our responsibility to transfer the layouts we created from our local environment to people soft server that's what i'm going to do next now i am logging into people soft server to transfer the files i mean the layouts we created in our local machine to people soft server this is my people soft single user environment when you log in into the server make sure you log in as psadm1 because all the layout files are owned by psadm1 clicking on login button it's authenticating make sure you navigate to this path because this is where all envision layouts are stored this is the ps home directory under ps home directory there is a envision folder under envision folder you see the layout folder now we are going to transfer the layouts we created in the local directory to people soft server i am going to drag the layouts that we created in episode 4 and episode 5 into people soft server now both of our layouts exist on people soft server once the files are migrated to the server make sure you rename the layout file names to the upper case i don't know why it happened i tried both in people tools 8.56 and 8.57 if the layout name is mixed case the envision process ran to error and also make sure you update the security to both of our layouts like shown on the screen now i am kicking off our envision report again i am clicking on run report click okay let's navigate to process monitor to check the status oh no the process again failed let me drill into details go to message so it is saying the layout is again not found this is kind of weird to me because it should work right out of the box once you placed your layouts in appropriate folder after digging i found there is an issue with envision layout configuration specified in process scheduler configuration file let me fix that issue first before that copy the envision layout location now i am navigating to process scheduler configuration file to fix the issue 856 app server ercs prcs dom and now i am editing the configuration file this is the process scheduler configuration file process scheduler will look for the envision layout based on the location you specified here for me this 
path looks perfectly all right i don't know for some reason my process scheduler is unable to locate the layout maybe something wrong with the ps home variable let me update the path with the one we copied before let me save this file since we have updated the configuration let's give it one more shot i'm clicking on the run button now click ok now i am navigating to process monitor to check the status as you can see here the process ran to success in order to view our envision output let me navigate back to the report request and click on report manager this is where all our envision report outputs are stored i will click on report manager i am navigating to the administrator tab if you click this link you will be able to see your envision output right now i am having some issues with the process scheduler configuration that's why i'm not able to access by clicking on this link but i can access the report from the server as you can see this is the report id i have navigated to my server and i will double click on it and here you can see our envision output this is it guys this is how you run envision through web interface i really hope you gain some knowledge through my experience and for more interesting content don't forget to subscribe my channel i will come back with one more interesting episode next week thank you so much for watching see you next time